Hey guys, this is Taylor with Green Grounds Yard Care. So we got called out to a customer's house to diagnose this little lawn patch here. So as you can see, you have this stretch that's completely dead. Um, you can kind of rake your hands through it and you're just gonna get a lot of uh, just thatch, but it's, it's dead. So there's a few factors that can cause this. Um, one would be a watering issue. The second would be an insect issue. And then probably the third issue is either gonna be the soil's just so dang compacted or there's a hard pan underneath, like such as cement. Whoever poured the cement dumped a little bit right here and those roots aren't able to go deep enough. So um, I got a, a little sharp object here. It's a, a tire iron, could be a screwdriver, whatever you want, but you can shove this in the ground and you can see that it's, it's going in with relatively no, no effort. So that eliminates the watering issue. So we know that it's not a watering issue. So this, I would call this a sod webworm issue. So that would be an insect. Um, it's very common for a sod webworm to start right where you're butted up against a piece of cement. So this normally happens earlier in the year. Um, I guess it happens about mid-year usually. So it starts, starts next to the cement or something that's warm and then it kind of just works its way in. So, and then just heats all those room, those, those roots to that, that blade of grass. So next year, um, you have two options. Really, you need to overseed this, but what's gonna be easiest is probably just get a few new pieces of sod and throw those down. Um, that's gonna be your fastest and your easiest solution to go ahead and graft that in. So hope that helped. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks, bye.